Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be my entire Longchamp collection and I used to have a vast collection, particularly of the extra small Longchamp bags. My bag of the day today is this Longchamp extra small. This one is from the Wish collection and is a combination of the Matisse leather with the Russian cowhide. And this one, unlike a lot of the Longchamp extra small bags, does have an adjustable crossbody strap and it's extremely comfortable. The nylon ones also have an adjustable crossbody strap. I don't have any nylon ones anymore. The reason for that is that I decided if I was going to carry a small nylon bag, I would rather carry a Lululemon belt bag instead. These work great for me when I need a small nylon bag. So at one time I had this bag in navy and plum I think was the purple one and I also had it in taupe and hmm what else I think I also had it in the ocelot which is like a cat type print. So I had several nylon ones and now all four of the remainders that I have of my collection, which at one time was like 25, all four of them are leather and two of them are the Matisse leather, which is kind of interesting because I'm not thrilled that the Matisse leather is a blended leather. Now, if you didn't know this, and you would if you've listened to all of my videos, but in case you missed it, they have modified the extra small bags now that look like they're made out of this sort of squishy leather, and they are made out of a solid hide now, and so they're a cowhide bag instead of a Matisse leather bag. But like I said, this one is a Matisse and Russian cowhide blend from the Wish collection. It was designed so that you could open this up and put a wish inside and I guess carry that around with you so you could just be dreamy all day. <laughs> but this is one of my four and I'm going to grab some of the other eight bags I have and we'll just get started. Now when I just mentioned nylon bags, I talked about once having the taupe extra small nylon lay pliage bag and I still have the taupe large shoulder bag from the Le Pliage line. And I use this for travel. I have two of these. At one time I had three. I also had the cognac version, but I decided to just keep the two that I have from the Neo line. The Neo line has been discontinued, but you can still find it. And I've actually created two like to know it lists with a lot of my Longchamp favorites that you can find at pretty steep discounts. I'll link those two lists down in the description box. Now the first list, it is heavily weighted to some of the Rue La La finds that I found. And you do need to sign up to be able to view those. But Rue La La is an awesome site to find Longchamp as well as other designers. So if you haven't signed up with them, I would recommend it so that you can view the beauties that I have curated in that list. But this taupe color is gorgeous. The nylon on the Neo bags is amazing. I also like the regular line. My cognac one was nice too. It's just not quite as thick. But the advantage to the regular line is that they do have a snap on the back so you can fold them up and snap them. You can certainly fold this, but it doesn't stay closed quite as neatly as the ones that come with the snap. There's absolutely no structure to this bag whatsoever. It does have a pocket there, which you can see. I've got some masks and spare contacts just in case we have an emergency for my son. And actually I just noticed there's also another pocket right there but it has a pretty wipeable lining on the inside. As you can see, a few of the bags that I've linked on my like to know it list are the canvas version of this. They're from what's called the city line. And I have to tell you, I'm extremely tempted by that line. Some of the discounted options that were available included black and a smaller version in terracotta. And I am really, really tempted. But the problem is that I already have this black Longchamp Le Pliage from the Neo line. And out of the colors that are available for a discounted price, black is the one that I would choose. I would also lean towards the terracotta, but I wasn't able to find the larger size available. And while the small size of the shoulder tote is excellent, for me, it doesn't stay on my shoulder. I think there's just a tiny bit more drop on this one. 
or somehow the length of the bag and where it widens out just fits my body a little better and is less likely to slip off my shoulder. When I got most of my long shot bags, it was quite some time ago, and I put in a relatively large order with Samorga to get organizers from them. Their quality of organizer is great, but I do find I prefer Zumani because the quality is also excellent and I think the prices are a little better. So I will link my Zumani link and my discount code down in the description box but just know that some of these inserts are Samorga and I do feel like you need to have an organizer in one of these bags to be able to keep it from being such a hot mess. This one it's still got some stuff from when I traveled like my wax spray for my hair, my selfie stick I guess you would call this and some hot nuts because I'm just nutty like that and I need to have those around. But even with this bag being relatively empty, you'll see it has a whale of a lot more structure than this one does. Having that organizer in there just kind of spreads it out, but it's still squishy and conforms to your body extremely well. And that's why I really like these. When I did get to feel the city line when I was in Chicago, I really liked it too. And it really gave me never full vibes because it's made out of a coated canvas. And so I have to say I'm very, very tempted by that line, especially at the sale price. I just wish they had a large one and terracotta on sale, and then I'd probably be a goner. My next extra small bag I would like to show you is the one I have in Croc. I think this one was called ivory or chalk. I think it was chalk, but it's sort of confusing because if I remember correctly when I bought it, it said chalk in the title, but cream also in the description or something to that effect. But this is one of their croc embossed bags. It has lots of structure. It doesn't need an insert except for organizational purposes. It does have a crossbody matching strap that is not adjustable. And at one time I had multiple shades of the Croc. I do think that their mock Croc is done extremely well, but I've paired my collection down to this one. This one's great. I just love how neutral it is and it feels good. It's very durable. I mean, if you get something on it, you can just wipe it right off. And whenever I carry my taupe Le Pliage tote. I could pair these two together and they would match pretty nicely. So for that reason, I went ahead and let the nylon extra small go because I think that these two are a nice coordinating but not matchy matchy match. <laughs> now, of course, with the larger black tote, if I wanted to be all long chomp all the way, I could carry this little cutie. They have matching hardware. I could carry my black nylon Lululemon belt bag or this one really. I mean, they both have silver hardware and are a nice little coordinating match. Or if I wasn't too worried about the hardware, I could do this one. Now this one, everybody loves anytime I bring it out. This is the softest bag in my entire collection. It is the Lambskin Duodene Quilted Longchamp Extra Small. And it is so squishy and so soft. Comes with a delightful leather strap that is not adjustable, but feels great, very flexible. And this little beauty, I one time also had it in a white or ivory color, but decided that the black was really the only one that I felt like I needed to have. And so I paired my collection down to just this one. Plus I felt like the white one was just super fragile. I always feel like if it's a more fragile bag, getting it in a leather that I can touch up is definitely the way to go. Now that said, I don't feel like this is a thin lambskin. I feel like some of the Tory Burch Kira bags that are in lambskin can get real thin and you feel them and you can just tell. This one, it doesn't feel thin to me. It's a really nice hide. Probably isn't sanded down too much for imperfections because they use such a good quality leather. So I have two bags left to go and I really am working on coordinating today because the way that I'm laying these bags out is just perfection in terms of color. So this is one of the personalized Longchamp Le Pliage bags. You can do a huge variety of things on the Longchamp website. And this is just one example. You can see it has my initials. You can also get it hot stamped. This one has a faint hot stamp here. It says HH and it may not pick it up, but that is for Handbag Housewife. This was a gift to me from 
Kevin. He works at the Long Shop Outlet down in San Marcos, Texas. And he gifted this bag to me. It was so super sweet. But this is an excellent travel bag. And once again, it has an organizer in it so that it has just a little bit of structure. It's got a nice pop of red inside. The lining on this one is a little different. It's almost like a neoprene type feeling material. And then of course it's still trimmed in that nice Russian cowhide type leather with a strap clipping on the ears of the bag or these side little leather bits. And I do really like it when the grommets are on the ears like this. Not all of the bags do that. My extra small bags all have the straps clipping on here and here, but despite that, I still love them. So this is the seventh of the eight bags in my Longchamp collection, and it is in the Matisse leather, and it is in a bright red color. I do not know the name of this shade, but as you can see, these two would be quite a match made in heaven if I were doing a quick weekend trip, and they're just super cute together. On this one, you can see that the strap clips on to the inside of the handles, and that can be sort of annoying when you're getting into the bag because you have to maneuver around those clips. Now the nylon bags, like the ones I showed you in black and taupe, they're lined in like a shiny fabric on the inside, but if you get one of the leather bags, it's lined in a different type material. Like for example, this is in the LGP print and it has a zippered pocket inside. And then on the other side, it has a slip pocket. And of course I have an organizer in for even more pockets because even though these bags are little with an organizer, you can fit so much in them. You can eliminate small leather goods with the organizer and use those pockets for extra cards or coupons or whatnot. And then the depth of this bag being nearly four inches just gives you oodles of room. If you take the organizer out of this bag, it has no structure. And in fact, if you buy one of these Matisse leather bags, it'll come to you oftentimes all smooshed up like that. And I don't really care for that look. The newer version, which is a cowhide, it has more structure than this, but it still, I think, would benefit from an insert because when I saw the one that I looked at in Chicago, the bottom of it was still kind of squunched. It wasn't nice and smooth like this. Depending on the color of the outside of the bag, you may get different colors on the inside. You can see that this lining is different. The other three bags that I have in the extra small size all have this darker lining. And this is the only one of the four that I really can't use one of the standard inserts in. So if you do pick up one of the Duodene bags, if you're lucky enough to find one, then just be aware you probably don't need an insert for it. You can see it holds its structure all on its own. And when I put it in there, it's just too tight. Now the last bag in my Longchamp collection is this backpack. And this backpack has traveled far and wide with me. It is fantastic for when you go do something with your family. I use it when I go to Disney. I use it when I go like to Silver Dollar City. I use it all over the place. It's a great pumpkin patch bag. You can fit multiple bottled drinks in here. And I, again, have an organizer in this one. And again, it's, this one's not Zumani because when I got these bags, I didn't know about Zumani. I was just new to this whole thing. But again, I think you'll get a better deal if you go there and the quality is very comparable to Samorga. But yeah, you can see here, I have this insert in and without it, the bag has no structure whatsoever. And so I really like to have it in there. You certainly don't have to, but it makes it a lot nicer in my opinion. And you can see here that the lining of this bag, it's almost like plasticky, but you can wipe it off really easy because of that. On our recent trip to Montana, this is the bag I chose when I went up the mountain and it's great because you can stick a camera in there, you can stick a drink in there, you can just stick anything in here and it's just a handy bag to have with you. So that is my entire Longchamp collection. Can you believe it? Eight bags? I mean, at one time I had like 25 of just that one extra small style. And I guess I really haven't sold much of the other styles. The only one that I have sold is the cognac version of this particular style. 
all the other bags, all the other styles have stayed consistent in my Longchamp collection. This is definitely my favorite style out of all of them, but I do find those travel bags extremely useful. I use them on every trip and I'm contemplating a getting one of the medium bags that you can wear crossbody for travel. I've linked one in my like to know it list and it'll probably sell out because of you guys before I make my final decision. But recently I bought a coat from Cole Haan and it was from the Chicago Premium Fashion Outlets. And when I got that coat, I wore it home from Chicago and this bag kept slipping off my shoulder. And I'll grab the coat and I'll show it to you right now. But first, let me show you this blazer. I also have it linked in another like to note list. This blazer is by Express and it's on a deep sale right now. You can see it has these cool buttons on it. It's made out of a really nice wool material and it's also basically turned around and lined in the same wool. It's really warm, but despite the fact that it's so warm, I'm not sweating in here, which is pretty amazing. And I just thought it was a really cute little jacket. I had a $40 coupon for my birthday from Express, so this normally would have been around 80, but I got it for 40 because of the coupon. This is the Cole Haan coat I was telling you about just a second ago. And isn't that cute? And I love that this part here, the shawl part, you can flip it up over your head if you're cold or if it's raining. And I also love that this little belt is leather on one side and then the material on the other. It's just super cute. I also love that it zips. There's just a lot to love about this coat. So if you do go to an outlet mall and they have a Cole Haan, I would say go in and check it out. Now, the only bad thing is that this shawl makes it so where my bag wants to slide off. And so I tried to do different things when I was traveling and I tried to like stick it up underneath, which actually that's staying on pretty good right at the moment. But when I, when I was in action, it didn't. And so what I ended up doing was sitting my tote bag on my roller bag, which worked fine too. But that's why I am contemplating getting one of the crossbody bags from the Neo line while they're still available since that line's been discontinued. With all that said, I'm getting hoarse. I got to sign off. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.